Good morning, friends. Good morning, Facebook. Um, I just have a few minutes. I actually have a training starting up in 15 minutes, but I wanted to share with you before I forget what I was to uh, going to talk about today. And uh, I was reminded about affirmations. You know, and affirmations is what we talk, uh, what we say to ourselves, what we think repeatedly and consistently and uh, I was inspired by this short video we watched with our team this morning at nine o'clock we're still studying Tony Robbins this is our last day uh, for this week and then we'll move on to a, another thought leader next week but um, he shared this really cool affirmation and he said just keep repeating it to yourself and it goes all I need is within me now all I need is within me now. And it's so catchy. And I loved it because it stayed with me from the moment he introduced it. And it goes, all I need is within me now. And then you can add whatever it is that you want to put in there. All love that I need is within me now. All health as I need, that I need is within me now. All joy that I need is within me now. So once you remember it, once you memorize it, uh, it becomes, you know, it's much easier to remember things when they're rhyming, when they have a melody to them. But often we remember some random songs that don't really make us feel great. But, uh, you know, memorizing the things that are important for our well-being, for our pick-me-up, like it's really important. I figured this would be a line I'm going to teach my kids. I really enjoyed it. All I need is within me now. So when I hear another complaint, or excuse you know we just say hey all i need is within me now oh you know all love all joy or knowledge or all smarts all courage everything you want to put in there is within me now right and um I, it reminded me of how much affirmations have played a role in my success journey in primerica it's one thing that i've learned very early on is to speak to myself and uh, to set myself up for a great day. So there are just a few ones that I want to share with you. Uh, one is um, great things always happen to me whenever I'm nervous or I have a little anxiety, if I'm trying to do something new. When I was first going on my appointments with my clients and I was nervous, I kept saying great things always happen to me. When I was asking someone to give me an appointment, I was afraid of rejection or no. Great things always happen to me. Great things always happen to me. Whenever something didn't go my way or even before something happened or didn't happen, I'd have this affirmation that goes, it's a great day to have a great day. It's a great day to have a great day. It's actually a great greeting as well as a connecting phrase. When you meet somebody, if you're in line at a coffee shop and someone says, how are you? You say, it's a great day to have a great day. And all of a sudden you're having a great conversation, right? So uh, there is an affirmation that I love that goes, energy is a choice, energy is a choice, great things always happen to me, it's a great day to have a great day. I also like one from uh, Tom Hopkins that I internalized, it goes, I constantly, uh, no, uh, what is Oh, my attitude every day determines my success in the future. Today I walk, talk, act and believe as a person I wish to become. So you always control your, your day by controlling your attitude because my attitude every day determines my success in the future. Today I walk, talk, act and believe as a person I want to become. You know, there is many others. I, you know, I, uh, we have one for our teams that I've been saying for years now to myself because our team's name is the answer. So I always say that uh, to myself, like I condition myself to attract the right type of interactions throughout the days by, by saying that I am the answer to other people's prayers, current and future, today and every day. And so when somebody, uh, when I come across somebody, my job was to see which prayer of theirs I can answer. Not that, you know, I have divine powers, God has divine powers, but I strongly believe if somebody, if somebody came across my path, then there is something I have to offer 
that can help them answer one of their prayers, right? Whatever they are. So it's my determination in life to be an answer to other people's prayers. But I say to myself, so that I'm actually focused on that, right? So the things we say to ourselves make a big difference. Like there is a lot of issues most pe a lot of people have with uh, attracting wealth, with becoming an entrepreneur, with uh, you know wanting to attract money, wanting to get paid. We are shy, we are timid, we are uncomfortable about being paid for some reason. And so, especially in the self-employment arena, in the business ownership arena, it doesn't really go to paycheck, but for, for the self-employment, it's really an, a, a big issue. A lot of people quit because of that. They're afraid to ask to be paid, right? So there was a lot of things that I need, needed to learn about money and to say to myself about money. So I learned to believe it. And one of them is money makes you more of who you are. So if you're a good person, having more money gives you more options to serve, to give, right? Uh, more time, you know, things like this. And then if you're not a good person, no amount of money can help, right? Or, uh, so that's kind of the idea. So I always say money makes you more of who you are. Money also doesn't flow where it's not wanted. So you want to want money, right? And there are certain things that I've learned and actually read from the Baha'i writings to make myself comfortable with money. There is a quote that starts with money is praiseworthy to the highest uh, wealth. Wealth is praiseworthy to the highest degree. Right. And so I've been and, you know, the, it, the, the, the quote is longer and it goes over why, why it is praiseworthy and how it can help you serve humanity. But that had really helped me embrace the ideas related to self-employment, to building business to generate an income and to feel good about it versus uncomfortable right so that's the idea the idea is what we say to ourselves becomes our reality so let's say great things to ourselves positive things to ourselves it also i think really helps with parenting and uh, I, I maybe you have seen my post i I sent uh, notes with affirmations for my kids to school in their lunch boxes every day. And actually yesterday I found this at Barnes and Noble when I took my kids there to hang out a little bit. They have this little card in the boxes. Like this one says happy day. This says you are awesome. This says smile. And so basically it has little cards here with quotes and there's 30 cards with different quotes related to a positive message. So instead of me writing this, uh, cards every day I'll just be signing the cards that already have positive affirmations and messages like this one says enjoy the good things celebrate life and find happiness every day so and it, you know each card would be different so I'll have some messages for them because that's again that's the programming they read it they believe it as especially if it's on repeat the affirmations work on repeat like this one says delight in this moment savor each experience and share the joy brighten the day share an uplifting message and celebrate someone who is amazing you know these things you know the kids they become what we tell them as parents if we tell it to them repeatedly so don't say negative things to them don't criticize them no matter how frustrating that can get especially through teenage years praise praise affirm all the good things so this affirmation that i learned from tony robbins today right all I need is within me now. All love that I need is within me now. All joy that whatever you want to put in, I'm going to be teaching that to my kids. I'm going to be practicing it. I love that because it's all encompassing and it gives you power. It empowers you to take control over whatever you're feeling uncomfortable or frustrated about. So I hope that helped. I really recommend you study affirmations, say things that you want to happen. Tell, tell yourself, I am great at this. I am an awesome parent. I am an incredible leader. Whatever it is that you're working on as an individual, affirm, affirm, affirm by speaking it aloud, by putting it into the universe and by gradually affecting your own beliefs and conditioning. I hope that helps. All I need is within me now and so is true for you. And that is true for you. Sorry, my English is still a work in progress. I hope you guys are having a great day. Have an awesome weekend and uh, make it an awesome day. Thank you for joining.